chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tuka Buruta, has decried the increase of propaganda and publicity given to Boko Haram terrorist group by the media. The army chief, who was represented by Army Colonel Sajia Musa, raised concerns on how criminality, banditry and insurgency is being highly celebrated in society and the headlines of most media houses is not commendable. Colonel Musa said that it was wrong for somebody to be to eulogize or support the terrorists by calling them names like Jazz or ISWAP in Nigeria, that it could amount to supporting or encouraging terrorism. General Buruta hereby enjoined all well-meaning Nigerians, especially the media, to join hands together with the military to end terrorism. Lieutenant General enjoined the media and well-meaning Nigerians understand the apparent criminals, bandits, insurgents as Boko Haram terrorists, just or Islamic State West African province in Nigeria could amount to glorifying them. The Chief of Army Sir opines that from the mode of operation of these elements, it is pure criminality. The criminals no longer even pretend to be championing any cause other than murder and terror. He therefore urged that we should not glorify these criminals by calling them any name other than criminals, murderers, rapists, kidnappers, arm robbers, and murderers. He urged the media to note that given the criminal activities of the terrorists, headlines news cover in both electronic and print media would also amount to ter uh, supporting terrorism, which violates Terrorism Prevention Act. And we're being joined in the studio by Obi Adjegwa, she's a lawyer, to discuss more on this issue. So the army is saying that we, um, the media, most importantly, has been somewhat giving a face to terrorism in Nigeria by calling them ISWAP and the rest of them. But I'm wondering, should we keep quiet about, I mean, when we're referring to them, should we just call them terrorists? You see, when we, when we report that the Boko Haramis have, have taken over an army barracks, it, it, it looks bad on the soldiers. It demoralizes them. And at the same time, it makes Boko Haram to be bigger than life. It's all a psychological warfare in war. It's psychology they use. There was a time I was shown a picture. I was sent a picture of them trooping down. I knew there was a bit of Photoshop on that thing. And I deleted it and I sent to uh, a, a lot of people that please don't circulate that picture. Because when you circulate it, you're giving them a larger than life, whatever. And we don't need that. We need them defeated. So we have to make sure their victories are not so amplified and amplify the victory of our, of our boys. But then the media, uh, whether it's Western or even media at home, is supposed to report facts. Mm -hmm. Of course, the languages or the way it is being reported is what we're dissecting now. Mm -hmm. But when we say that... Boko Haram or militants went to a barracks or did something at a barracks. It is truth. It is fact. Mm -hmm. But how do we report that without making them feel like they recorded a success? Oh, we'll, we'll say, oh, Boko Haram came to a barracks, but our boys rebuffed them. Is that true? I don't know. Exactly. So where does truth end and where does fact or fighting a psychological warfare begin you this see, is this there's is the something conflicts called, that we're there's having something called national interest the national interest come bef comes first before every other thing if we keep reporting that these people are trumping our, our, our boys our soldiers we are giving them an edge and they will now be feeling more gingered, and it will demoralize our soldiers. So should we not report or bring up any story about terrorism in favor? Because I don't even think we report in favor of them, but I'm saying maybe we should be silent about it and just report what the army says we should report. No, the, the, the journalists are meant to tell us what is really happening. 
and nobody will want to gag out. But what we are saying is, you know, of recent, we've seen, oh, they, they took over um, a naval base. They took over this. Always they, they, they taking over, taking over. What about our boys doing something to them? But we get information that we're given. If they are pushing their information and the army headquarters is not pushing more of their information to counter that or even give us more to report that, we would report less of that. Don't you think that that might also help? Well, it is for the military to be told because warfare involves a lot of propaganda. Look at when um, the Allied forces were entering um, Libya. They made so much noise that the noise, you know, when with, with the amount of noise they made, it was obvious that Libya would fall and they put fear into the, uh, the local armies there. So that's what we want. Let us make more noise about our boys, because these people, we don't want them. And the more they are around, the more we are losing our, our soldiers, people's husbands, people's children, and the, the, the less we are having peace. We need peace in Nigeria. So the, one of the keys of warfare is psychology, propaganda. And we should encourage the army to do the propaganda. And the media should also assist them in doing the propaganda. Paint our boys white, where, where maybe where they are black. Not lie, but just be silent on some salient facts. Hmm, interesting. Obia Jekwa is a lawyer. Thank you very much for speaking with us.